A skydiving lesson. During class, a skydiving instructor takes time to answer questions from the first time students. During class, a skydiving instructor takes time to answer questions from the first time students. One guy asked, If our chute doesn't open and the reserve doesn't open, how long do we have until we hit the ground? One guy asked, If our chute doesn't open and the reserve doesn't open, how long do we have until we hit the ground? The jump master looked at him and answered in a straightforward voice, The rest of your life. The jump master looked at him and answered in a straightforward voice, The rest of your life. A skydiving lesson. During class, a skydiving instructor takes time to answer questions from the first time students. One guy asked, If our chute doesn't open and the reserve doesn't open, how long do we have until we hit the ground? The jump master looked at him and answered in a straightforward voice, The rest of your life. A skydiving lesson. During class, a skydiving instructor takes time to answer questions from the first time students. One guy asked, if our chute doesn't open and the reserve doesn't open, how long do we have until we hit the ground? The jump master looked at him and answered in a straightforward voice, The rest of your life. Half Fair Special One of the airlines recently introduced a special half fair rate for wives accompanying their husbands on business trips. One of the airlines recently introduced a special half fare rate for wives accompanying their husbands on business trips. Anticipating some valuable testimonials, the publicity department of the airline sent out letters to all the wives of businessmen who used the special rate. Anticipating some valuable testimonials, the publicity department of the airline sent out letters to all the wives of businessmen who used the special rates, asking how they enjoyed their trip. Responses are still pouring in asking what trip? Asking how they enjoyed their trip. Responses are still pouring in asking what trip? Half fare special. One of the airlines recently introduced a special half fare rate for wives accompanying their husbands on business trips. Anticipating some valuable testimonials, the publicity department of the airline sent out letters to all the wives of businessmen who used the special rates, asking how they enjoyed their trip. Responses are still pouring in, asking, what trip? Half Fair Special One of the airlines recently introduced a special half fare rate for wives accompanying their husbands on business trips. Anticipating some valuable testimonials, the publicity department of the airline sent out letters to all the wives of businessmen who used the special rates asking how they enjoyed their trip. Responses are still pouring in, asking, what trip? 
Cats. I've never understood why women love cats. I've never understood why women love cats. Cats are independent, they don't listen, they don't come in when you call, they like to stay out all night, and when they're home, they like to be left alone and sleep. Cats are independent, they don't listen, they don't come in when you call, they like to stay out all night, and when they're home, they like to be left alone and sleep. In other words, every quality that women hate in a man, they love in a cat. In other words, every quality that women hate in a man, they love in a cat. Cats. I've never understood why women love cats. Cats are independent, they don't listen, they don't come in when you call, they like to stay out all night, and when they're home, they like to be left alone and sleep. In other words, every quality that women hate in a man, they love in a cat. Cats. I've never understood why women love cats. Cats are independent, they don't listen, they don't come in when you call, they like to stay out all night, and when they're home, they like to be left alone and sleep. In other words, every quality that women hate in a man, they love in a cat. Flies. A woman walked into the kitchen to find her husband walking around with a fly swatter. A woman walked into the kitchen to find her husband walking around with a fly swatter. What are you doing? she asked. Hunting flies, he responded. Oh, killing any? she asked. What are you doing? she asked. Hunting flies, he responded. Oh, killing any? she asked. Yep, three males and two females, he replied. Intrigued, she asked, how can you tell? Yep, three males and two females, he replied. Intrigued, she asked, how can you tell? He responded, three were on a beer can, two were on the phone. He responded, three were on a beer can, two were on the phone. Flies. A woman walked into the kitchen to find her husband walking around with a fly swatter. What are you doing? she asked. Hunting flies, he responded. Oh, killing any? she asked. Yep, three males and two females, he replied. Intrigued, she asked, how can you tell? He responded, three were on a beer can, two were on the phone. Flies. A woman walked into the kitchen to find her husband walking around with a fly swatter. What are you doing? she asked. Hunting flies, he responded. Oh, killing any? she asked. Yep, three males and two females, he replied. Intrigued, she asked, how can you tell? He responded, three were on a beer can, two were on the phone. Dreams. One morning, after she woke up, a woman told her husband, I just dreamed that you gave me a diamond necklace for Valentine's Day. One morning, after she woke up, a woman told her husband, I just dreamed that you gave me a diamond necklace for Valentine's Day. What do you think it means? Maybe you'll find out tonight, he said. What do you think it means? Maybe you'll find out tonight, he said. That evening, the man came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, she opened it to find a book entitled The Meaning of Dreams. That evening, the man came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, she opened it to find a book entitled the meaning of dreams. Dreams. One morning, 
after she woke up, a woman told her husband, I just dreamed that you gave me a diamond necklace for Valentine's Day. What do you think it means? Maybe you'll find out tonight, he said. That evening, the man came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, she opened it to find a book entitled The Meaning of Dreams. Dreams. One morning, after she woke up, a woman told her husband, I just dreamed that you gave me a diamond necklace for Valentine's Day. What do you think it means? Maybe you'll find out tonight, he said. That evening, the man came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, she opened it to find a book entitled The Meaning of Dreams. Elephant's Milk Did you hear about the baby that was fed only elephant's milk and gained 20 pounds in a week? That's impossible. Whose baby? An elephant's. Did you hear about the baby that was fed only elephant's milk and gained 20 pounds in a week? That's impossible. Whose baby? An elephant's. <coughs> elephant's milk. Did you hear about the baby that was fed only elephant's milk and gained 20 pounds in a week? That's impossible. Whose baby? An elephant's. <coughs> elephant's milk. Did you hear about the baby that was fed only elephant's milk and gained 20 pounds in a week? That's impossible. Whose baby? An elephant's. Dog Experiments Some scientists decided to do the following experiments on a dog. For the first experiment, they cut off one of the dog's legs. Then they told the dog to walk. Some scientists decided to do the following experiments on a dog. For the first experiment, they cut off one of the dog's legs. Then they told the dog to walk. The dog got up and walked, so they learned that a dog could walk with just three legs. For the second experiment, they cut off a second leg. The dog got up and walked, so they learned that a dog could walk with just three legs. For the second experiment, they cut off a second leg. Then they told the dog once more to walk. The dog was still able to walk with only two legs. For the third experiment, they cut off yet another leg from the dog, and once more they told the dog to walk. Then they told the dog once more to walk. The dog was still able to walk with only two legs. For the third experiment, they cut off yet another leg from the dog, and once more they told the dog to walk. However, the dog wasn't able to walk with only one leg. As a result of these experiments, the scientists wrote in their final report that the dog had lost its hearing after having three legs cut off. However, the dog wasn't able to walk with only one leg. As a result of these experiments, the scientists wrote in their final report that the dog had lost its hearing after having three legs cut off. Dog Experiments Some scientists decided to do the following experiments on a dog. For the first experiment, they cut off one of the dog's legs. Then they told the dog to walk. The dog got up and walked, 
So they learned that a dog could walk with just three legs. For the second experiment, they cut off a second leg. Then they told the dog once more to walk. The dog was still able to walk with only two legs. For the third experiment, they cut off yet another leg from the dog, and once more they told the dog to walk. However, the dog wasn't able to walk with only one leg. As a result of these experiments, the scientists wrote in their final report that the dog had lost its hearing after having three legs cut off. Dog experiments. Some scientists decided to do the following experiments on a dog. For the first experiment, they cut off one of the dog's legs. Then they told the dog to walk. The dog got up and walked, so they learned that a dog could walk with just three legs. For the second experiment, they cut off a second leg. Then they told the dog once more to walk. The dog was still able to walk with only two legs. For the third experiment, they cut off yet another leg from the dog, and once more they told the dog to walk. However, the dog wasn't able to walk with only one leg. As a result of these experiments, the scientists wrote in their final report that the dog had lost its hearing after having three legs cut off. Facebook. Dad writes on son's Facebook wall. Dear son, how are you? All are fine here. We miss you a lot. Please turn off the computer and come downstairs for dinner. Dad writes on son's Facebook wall. Dear son, how are you? All are fine here. We miss you a lot. Please turn off the computer and come downstairs for dinner. Facebook. Dad writes on son's Facebook wall. Dear son, how are you? All are fine here. We miss you a lot. Please. Turn off the computer and come downstairs for dinner. Facebook. Dad writes on son's Facebook wall. Dear son, how are you? All are fine here. We miss you a lot. Please turn off the computer and come downstairs for dinner. The taxi driver. During a ride in a taxi cab, the passenger touched the driver on the shoulder to ask him a question. During a ride in a taxi cab, the passenger touched the driver on the shoulder to ask him a question. Upon feeling the touch, the cab driver flinched, screamed, and then went into a panic and almost wrecked the cab. <laughs> Finally, the driver got control and pulled over to the side of the road. Upon feeling the touch, the cab driver flinched, screamed, and then went into a panic and almost wrecked the cab. Finally, the driver got control and pulled over to the side of the road. Still shaking, he turned to his passenger and apologized. He said, Sorry about that. This is my first day as a cab driver. For the past 20 years, I have driven a hearse. Still shaking, he turned to his passenger and apologized. He said, Sorry about that. This is my first day as a cab driver. For the past 20 years, I have driven a hearse. The taxi driver. During a ride in a taxi cab, 
The passenger touched the driver on the shoulder to ask him a question. Upon feeling the touch, the cab driver flinched, screamed, and then went into a panic and almost wrecked the cab. Finally, the driver got control and pulled over to the side of the road. Still shaking, he turned to his passenger and apologized. He said, Sorry about that. This is my first day as a cab driver. For the past 20 years, I have driven a hearse. The taxi driver. During a ride in a taxi cab, the passenger touched the driver on the shoulder to ask him a question. Upon feeling the touch, the cab driver flinched, screamed, and then went into a panic and almost wrecked the cab. Finally, the driver got control and pulled over to the side of the road. Still shaking, he turned to his passenger and apologized. He said, Sorry about that. This is my first day as a cab driver. For the past 20 years, I have driven a hearse. The Mental Asylum During a visit to a mental asylum, a visitor asked the director how they decided whether or not a patient should be institutionalized. During a visit to a mental asylum, a visitor asked the director how they decided whether or not a patient should be institutionalized. Well, said the director, we fill up a bathtub, then we offer a teaspoon, a teacup, and a bucket to the patient and ask him or her to empty the bathtub. Well, said the director, we fill up a bathtub, then we offer a teaspoon, a teacup, and a bucket to the patient and ask him or her to empty the bathtub. Oh, I understand, said the visitor. A normal person would use the bucket because it's bigger than the spoon or the teacup. Oh, I understand, said the visitor. A normal person would use the bucket because it's bigger than the spoon or the teacup. No, said the director. A normal person would pull the plug. So, do you want a bed by the wall or near the window? No, said the director. A normal person would pull the plug. So, do you want a bed by the wall or near the window? The Mental Asylum During a visit to a mental asylum, a visitor asked the director how they decided whether or not a patient should be institutionalized. Well, said the director, we fill up a bathtub, then we offer a teaspoon, a teacup, and a bucket to the patient and ask him or her to empty the bathtub. Oh, I understand, said the visitor. A normal person would use the bucket because it's bigger than the spoon or the teacup. No, said the director. A normal person would pull the plug. So, do you want a bed by the wall or near the window? The Mental Asylum During a visit to a mental asylum, a visitor asked the director how they decided whether or not a patient should be institutionalized. Well, 
said the director. We fill up a bathtub, then we offer a teaspoon, a teacup, and a bucket to the patient and ask him or her to empty the bathtub. Oh, I understand, said the visitor. A normal person would use the bucket because it's bigger than the spoon or the teacup. No, said the director. A normal person would pull the plug. So, do you want a bed by the wall or near the window? <laughs>